welcome to another UCLA surveying instructional video. Today, we will be measuring horizontal distances with taping. The process is easy to learn, but first we need a few pieces of equipment, such as steel tape and a tape plant handle, two plumb bobs, a force gauge, pins to mark points, a hand level, and of course, your surveyors. Now that we have everything we need, Begin from your starting point and unwind the steel tape. Once the end of the tape reaches the end point, hold the tape using the tape clamp handle to the nearest whole foot at the starting point, while making sure that the pin at the other end is in the red area. Now, with the force gauge, make sure you are pulling with 10 to 15 pounds of tension. At both ends, use a plumb bob to double check that the tape is directly over the point. Then use a hand level to check that the tape is level. Since the steel tape will droop over long distances, have one person in the middle hold the tape. Now, to record the actual measurement, note down the number at the starting point. This will be the measurement to the whole foot. At the end point, the pin should be in the red area. These numbers tell you how many inches and fractions of an inch you need to add to the whole foot. Record the complete measurement. If the distance you're measuring is longer than the steel tape, in this case 100 feet, you will have to divide the distance into 100 foot segments in a process called break chaining. Follow the same procedure as before with temporary endpoints and starting points at every 100 feet. Record the final distance. If the area you're measuring has a considerable slope, position one end of the steel tape at the highest point and use the hand level and plumb bob at the other end to ensure that the tape is level. Thanks for watching! To learn more about taping and other surveying techniques, come to UCLA Surveying Workdays.